everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited once again, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how to make a white chicken chili recipe. This recipe right here, it's amazing. So easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my white chicken chili before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Of course, you're gonna need some chicken. Now, when you make white chicken chili, you wanna decide what pieces of the chicken you would like to use. When I make this recipe, I always like to use the chicken breast. So right here, I have some beautiful chicken breasts that I've cleaned off with lime juice, salt, and water, cold water, and then I've pat it dry with a paper towel. You will need a yellow or a orange bell pepper. We have a nice sweet Vidalia onion. We also have some celery stalks. You will need some cream cheese. You will also need some chilies. Okay, and right here we have some fresh corn. We have cannellini beans, which is uh, their white kidney beans. We have some chicken broth in half and half. And of course you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some cayenne pepper. You're going to need some ground cumin and chili powder. Now, if this, these seasonings right here are to make the chili flavor. If you don't wanna do that, you always can use something like this. It has all those flavors in that packet and it's delicious. You will need some poultry seasoning. We're gonna season our chicken with it. Onion and garlic powder. It has some beautiful vegetable seasoning, pepper, salt, a little bit of Maggie Pollo. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Say hello to Prince and Polo. We have Polo on the left and Prince on the right. I'm gonna give them a little snack before we get started. They're both gonna get a half a piece of bologna. Here's yours, Polo, because you're such a good boy. And here's yours, Princey, because you are a good boy white chicken chili one of my favorite recipes and i am so excited to make this and share with you all how i make it this recipe like i said it is so delicious but the good thing about it is it's easy first thing you want to do make sure you wash your meat off and then we're going to chop our meat down just like so now i have a little bit of a lisp today because I got my braces tightened and my teeth are hurting just a little bit, but in a few days we'll be back to normal. So never mind that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this chicken down, just like so. All right, we're gonna cut it into chunks. You can cut it into the smallest chunk that you want. You want medium size, you want big pieces. This is about the size that I like to have in my chicken chili. Now, those of you, I have a lot of viewers that tell me, Gina, but I cannot have tomatoes, tomato sauce, what do I do? This recipe right here is a great recipe for you that you can enjoy, you know, year round without the tomatoes. All right, so we're gonna chop these beautiful pieces of chicken breast just like so. And when I get done chopping these up, I'll come back and show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, so now that we have all of our chicken nice and cut up, let's go ahead and season up our chicken. Now, those seasonings that we're gonna use to season the chili, we're not gonna use those seasonings for our chicken. Here's what we are gonna use. We're gonna use some salt. Don't be afraid to season. You need the seasoning in order for your food to taste well. We're gonna use poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning is amazing on chicken, just like so. Some of that vegetable seasoning, it's salt-free. It's gonna give you amazing taste. All right, we're gonna put some onion powder. Bet we are. And we're gonna put some garlic powder and pepper, all right? Then I'm gonna go in with my hands. I put some gloves on so I don't have to wash my hands again. All right, and we want this gorgeous meat to marinate for at least 20 minutes before we start to cook it. 
And another thing that I would like to do is I want some of the chill to come off of the chicken so the chicken can be nice and tender. If you take your meat right out of the refrigerator or throw it in that frying pan, it's gonna seize up and be dry. So you let it rest for a little while. And that little while is gonna be 20 minutes today for this chicken. So we let our chicken marinate with these gorgeous spices for around about 20 minutes. Now I have a hot pan here. Inside of my pan, I have some vegetable oil and it's really just a tiny bit just to kind of get the chicken going. My pan is turned on a medium high heat, and I know some of you might say, dang, Gina, that's a lot of chicken. I want a lot of chicken in mine. If you want a little bit less, you can use the amount that you would like to use. Now, after I wash my hands, get these gloves off, we're gonna start on our veggies. While our chicken cooks, let's go ahead, slice up these veggies. So right here, I have some beautiful celery. When you bring your veggies home, Make sure you wash it off. You want to wash off those pesticides. And then again, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. Okay? So we're going to do a number like this. I'm not going to use too much celery. I'm really not a fan of celery. But for some recipes, if I feel like something is definitely needed, I'm going to put it in there just not too much. I don't want to overwhelm the situation with celery. So I think this right here will be the amount that I use. That's enough right there. I'm happy with that. Okay? Just like so. I'm going to come right back and we'll get started on those other veggies. Okay, everyone. So let's get started on this orange bell pepper. The orange bell pepper has a really unique flavor. Believe it or not, even, you know, even though they're all bell peppers, each flavor, each color really does have a different flavor and when I make the white chicken chili I feel like you shouldn't use the dark colors like the red and the green so that's my purpose for using either the orange or the yellow today because it's a lighter color you want for your chili to be like nice and light like it's supposed to be okay I'm not using too much because we don't want to overwhelm it Right. just like this beautiful and then I have some onion I'm not going to use too much onion either we're going to have so much flavor and especially when we put that cream cheese in there cream cheese is amazing for this here recipe okay so now we're going in with this gorgeous sweet Vidalia onion it's going to bring us lots and lots of flavor when I come back we'll check in on our beautiful chicken that's cooking Okay, everyone, so let's check in on our chicken. All right, I'm getting some great smell. I'm pretty, oh, see that there? That color right there, that's what you call caramelization. Just by letting it sit for a while, you know, be patient. You don't have to keep going in, bothering it, and turning it every five minutes. Oh, it's gonna get cooked. Beautiful, the more color you get on your chicken, the more flavor, okay? So once our chicken, literally, once it's halfway cooked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in this beautiful trio of our veggies, our sweet Vidalia, our orange bell pepper, and our celery will go in when our chicken is halfway cooked. Okay, everyone, so our chicken is about 75% done. Take a look at it, and it smells so good. And that liquid that's in the bottom of the pan, keep it in there. Okay, so what we're going to do, put our veggies in. We want to put our green chilies in. It's up to you if you want to put one can. Let's see, how big are they? They're four ounce containers. Four ounce cans. We're going to put eight ounces in. That chili is, oh, listen, it takes it over the top. We are then going to put onions, orange bell pepper, celery right in just like so. We're going to stir it in in this manner just let everything hang out for a little while for around about seven to ten minutes and when i come back i'll show you exactly what we're going to do next okay everyone so now our chicken is ready here's what we're going to do let's talk about the beans really quickly here's what i like to do okay so the beans come in a brine of course i like to keep the brine in one can the other can you can see that i've removed the brine 
I love the brine, so I'm gonna use it. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Okay, and I'm gonna put a nice amount of beans in there, just like so. Gorgeous. All right, and then the corn. Put some corn in there. I'm not gonna use too much. I'm gonna use about a half a can. That'll do the trick. Let's mix everything in. And by the way, I tasted the chicken and it is delicious. And where that flavor comes from, it comes from those perfect spices that we paired up on our chicken, letting our chicken marinate for a little while with those spices seeping down into that protein. Okay, so here's what we have, and you can see we have some good juices down there. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're then going to take some chicken broth, and we want to bring the liquid all the way up to the top. Okay, just like so. About up to the top of the meat. It's not this whole 32 ounce. I can kind of feel that it's not the whole container. Let's give it a nice mix and we're just gonna let everything simmer with the lid on it. And then we're gonna come back and season it. So we've let everything simmer for around about a half an hour. Let's take a peek in at it. <laughs> Lee, you wouldn't believe the smell that's coming out of this kitchen. So everything is simmered. Let's go ahead and season. I, me personally, gotta have some of that Maggie Pollo. This is the chicken bouillon powder that's gonna give you amazing flavor. Get you some. All right, we're gonna, now we're gonna put in that chili flavor that we all love. Chili powder, I don't measure. Just being honest, I don't measure. And if you worry about not having the measurements, you can always use this. Like I said, it's delicious. I use it a lot when I make regular chili. Okay, but these are the flavors. You're gonna need chili powder, a little bit of cayenne pepper, but not too much, because you know that cayenne pepper can be kind of spicy. But if you have family members that love spice, throw in the cayenne pepper. And we're gonna put some ground cumin in, just like so. So now I know your next question might be, okay, Gina, so you have the half and half, and you also have the cream cheese. When is it going in? It's going in last. It's going in at that last minute. Let's stir this in really quickly. Oh, listen here. You would not believe the smell. I can't stress it enough. We're gonna go ahead and let this cook for a little bit longer. When I come back, we're going to incorporate our half and half, and I'll tell you the perfect amount of cream cheese you wanna put in. Now it's time. I've let everything simmer for around about 45 minutes. Let that chicken get nice and tender and pick up all of those gorgeous flavors from those veggies. Let's go ahead and put some half and half in. Okay, so let me see here. This is a 16 ounce. I'm gonna put about eight ounces in. All right, just like that. Ooh, wee. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit over half of the cream cheese in. Just like so, sorry about that. All right, look at that. It's gonna melt. Everything's gonna get nice and creamy. This right here is Gina Young's white chili chicken. Make you some, look at that, oh. So let's talk about how long our white chicken chili cooked. It cooked for an hour and a half and we did cook it with the lid on. Take a look at it. Beautiful. This right here is amazing. And the chicken is so tender. It just falls apart like butter. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, we listen here. I'm going to say an amazing prayer. When I come back, you all are going to get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. White chicken chili, Gina Young style. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a really quick prayer, then I'm gonna give you all a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I wanna thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. 
Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind that evil devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. I'm giving you all a bite right now. So now, I know some of you might say, Gina, where is the cornbread? Today I wanted some fresh fresh yeast rolls, and that's what I have here. They are buttery, oh my goodness. They're nice, hot, and fresh. And I sprinkled a little bit of garlic powder on there. That's gonna go perfect with this white chicken chili. Look at this right here. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you all a bite right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, wee! Take a bite. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give y'all one more bite. I know, I know, I know. Look at that. And as always, <laughs> God bless you all. Thank y'all for watching.